hello guys and welcome to our channel i am jackie of the jackie and sapwa it's been quite a while and i miss you guys merry christmas or happy new year whenever you guys see this video so i got a dm in my instagram i got an instagram dm and it was someone who was asking me that she wanted to know the kind of courses she can offer as a home economics student and so she asked me to do this video i understand that this video is not something a lot of people will be interested in but then it could help a few people and that's what this youtube is about from our previous video with Safa, we were talking about wasi results and that's when i mentioned that i studied home accounts in secondary school and just for me to put it out there i know a lot of people um when they are going into secondary school in ghana they think that the, they think home accounts is for the people who are not bright enough just want to say that that is not true and if you did if you are doing home accounts right now please do not let anybody talk trash to you you are smart and just because you are doing a course i don't even know why people actually see it to be a course that is for dumb people because you actually study um the electives are things that cut across almost every other course so you do things like biology chemistry which is from the science department whatever and then you do things like a cons gk management and living food to me it's not for dumb people they just have to work hard just like you work hard in any other course also a lot of people think when you study home economics in um, secondary school you are limited with regards to the courses you can do in the university but that is not true you can do quite a lot of things in university just if only if you have good grades so please focus on having good grades because there's a lot of things you can do there are actually just a few courses you can do like uh, pure sciences like engineering chemistry biology those kind of things um those are the few things you can do medicine veterinary science all those things but there's quite a lot of things you can do so just have an open mind and then you might actually get something you like just want to say that i got admission into the university in 2014 that's six years ago and since then a lot of things have changed i tried my best to do research to try to see how things are done now i also asked around but most of my mates and friends have completed they completed two years or one year ago so it was quite difficult so please do well to verify any information and read research but this information i'm giving you is from what i have read learned my experiences and what i've asked from friends i went to the university of ghana so most of the information i will give you is with regards to university of ghana for tech ucc and all other universities i will not be so sure about that i got limited information and so this is mostly about University of Ghana so let's get right into the video so the very first course that you can do as a home economic student in the university is nursing and this is one of the most popular course almost every home econ student knows this so University of Ghana you can do BSc nursing if you have two general arts electives plus food and nutrition so two general arts electives could be economics it could be french it could be general knowledge in arts something something or you should have any three of these electives i'm looking at my book right here or you should have any three of these electives which is economics management in living food and nutrition chemistry gk general knowledge in arts or french any of those three so um i would leave a link in the description box that has all this information because i cannot say every single thing or this video will end up being very long so to do this bsc nursing university of ghana or any other university in ghana i guess you need to have really good grades and if you do not want to go through that because you think it might be quite difficult you can also go through nursing training and i have about two or three mates who did that and are now nurses and they are doing quite well for themselves 
and then after you get a diploma from the nursing training you can go ahead and go to go back to university of ghana to get a degree in nursing apart from nursing you can also get into midwifery and it has the same entry requirements as the nursing as i said i'll put the link in the description box where you can see all these entry requirements into the university of ghana another thing i saw on the university of ghana site is information technology and you can do information technology as a, as a home economics student if you get credit passes in three electives with at least a b2 in core maths so credit passes is from a1 to c6 just that you have to have b2 in your at least b2 in your core math and you'll be able to study information technology another course that um you can study university of ghana is bsc family and consumer sciences i ha i know about three people from my home economics class that studied this course so for this particular course there are two options so the first one is food and clothing and the second one is family and child studies option so you have to actually choose the particular option you want while you are filling your um what's it called is it a mission form no like filling the forms to enter the school i forgot the name <laughs> i got more information on the family and child studies option and what they say it's it's basically about studying child development and home management they do courses such as psychology sociology statistics and public health while you are studying this course in the university of ghana as i said so i know about three of my mates who studied this in the university so that is an option you can also explore so she also asked me about food science, nutrition and food science. To be very honest, I couldn't get much information about this. I couldn't I couldn't get someone I knew to tell me more about this. However, I knew somebody who studied clinical dietetics in University of Cape Coast. So in UG, it's it's equivalent to BSc dietetics in University of Ghana. However, in UG you need to be a science student to be able to study this. In UCC, they were taking home economics students until last year where they stopped taking it. So that's quite unfortunate. But please do well to, if you want to study this course, I would advise that you research other universities to see if they do this course. University of Ghana is not the only uni in Ghana. Please don't follow people. The next course I'll be talking about is law. 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 Go into the law. Hey, no, no, law school. The faculty of law the prestigious faculty of law in the university of ghana for this one just get credit passes in your core and elective subjects you have to have good grades about aggregate seven and you can get into it i know a girl who was my mate she studied visual arts and she is no she's actually done she went to law school so this one you just basically no matter the course you studied in the university in secondary school you can get into law school just have really good grades the next one is you can get into the university of ghana business school to study bsc business administration this is also almost like the law no matter the course you studied you just really need to have good grades i can't i can't remember the cutoff points i'll put the link in the description box below so you can check it out just have good grades for that and you could enter into the business school i think they have options that you can major in like banking and finance accounting and so many other things that i have forgotten the other thing you can get is a bachelor degree in fine arts this one is um i think in the school of performing arts where they you can get a degree in dance, in music, and in theater, in theater arts. To the average Ghanaian, it is a very silly course to go and do. But I do not think it is silly at all. If it is something you love doing, if it's something you have a passion, if it's something you are passionate about, please forget everybody and go and study it. If you like plays, if you like dance, if you like music, 
see if you want it just go and get it don't mind anybody who will say you are studying the ontology and blah 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 like, we have to stop that backward thinking i know uh, a guy who is actually getting a master's in dancing he's just so excited and he's happy you can see he he's passionate about it and he's doing it so do you the next thing is that you can get into the school of education and leadership as of the time when i was getting into the university of ghana this thing had, was not there or it was probably um or it was probably embedded in something else because i do not know i didn't see it in my admission forms or in the uh the forms that you used to you fail to get inside i didn't see it in there but um reading about it it is you can get a bachelor's degree in education in things like english in physical and culture studies in um i think sports and so many other things as i said i'll put a link in the description box so you can research more about that i forgot to add this but i just wanted to say that my sister also studied home economics in secondary school and then she studied communication studies in the in central university so that's also something you can look at so the last and final course or let me say department you can get into as a home economics student is in the bachelor of arts program I decided to leave this for the last because it is broad, extremely broad. And that is what I studied in the College of Humanities. So in the Bachelor of Arts program um, in the University of Ghana, they have something they call the bouquet courses. And these bouquet courses come in threes, as in three different courses. They've grouped individual courses. Um, they've grouped three individual courses and they are as one. So you have to look through the different um, groupings they have done and choose the one that will suit you. I did political science, Spanish and French. That was what I chose as my first choice and that is what I got. For my second choice, I chose psychology, French and linguistics. But this book, how these bouquet courses work is that in level 100, you study all the three. In level 200, you are supposed to drop any one of them and then continue with the two so in level 200 you'll be studying two separate courses so in level 100 i studied spanish political science french in level 200 i dropped the french and i continued with political science and spanish so i did that in level 200 and in level 300 in level 400 you can continue with the two or you can further drop you can drop one and then end with just one so there are people who started with the three and then when they got to level 400 they decided that i can't do the spanish so i'll just study only political science um i do not want you to, to get into deep details about how that works because that should be a whole other video in terms of doing combined major and minor blah 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 so we'll do that in another video so back to what i was saying the bouquet courses there are so many others there is psychology and linguistics there is philosophy and classics religion all the languages we have russian Swahili, chinese uh french spanish and what other language do we have in uni there are so many other things so if you go to the university of ghana site i'll put the link again in the description box you would see all these groupings all these bouquet courses and then you choose which one you think suits you best when i was going into university of ghana the courses that are they are having now are different there is still political science french and spanish but there are different courses now they they are doing things like human resource accounting insurance all those things were not there when i was in university of ghana so please do research when i put it in the description box so that is all the courses I have for you. As I said in the beginning, please do not think you are limited with regards to the courses you can study in a university. You are not limited at all. Just have an open mind and get good grades. Please focus on getting good grades. No matter the course you are studying in secondary school, you need good grades. 
for home economics students, right, the cutoff points into um, Bachelor of Arts and into some other programs are quite different from those who studied um, uh, general arts. So, example, me that I chose political science, Spanish, and French. For someone who studied um, general arts in school, her cutoff points would be maybe aggregate 15, while my cutoff points will be aggregate 9. That's just an example. That's not what it is. But that's what I'm saying. Just focus on getting good grades, and that will get you into wherever or almost any course you want in the university concern i know a lot of people have is that what are the careers you can get into when you study home economics and when you go and study all these um, arts courses in the university that is a genuine concern it's almost like the only uh, the pro only professional course you can do is the nursing nursing knows that you go and go and be a nurse if you do these arts courses like what can you do in life for this particular one, um, hmm, I would say we are all learning me. I have not reached, so I can't say this is it or that is it. We are all still learning and that is what life is about. You have an open mind and you keep learning as the time goes on. With regards to jobs, to be very honest, entry level jobs in Ghana, it is Adom ne Takashi. Adom is when you know you don't have links, so you rely on the grace of God. Takashi is when you have links and connections and so you can do what I read and go and enter somewhere. On that note, please do purchase my friends t-shirts with the Adumne Takashi inscription. But um, on a more serious note, for entry level jobs, I do not want you to think, okay, I study Spanish in secondary school, I study Spanish in university, so all I can do in life is to be a Spanish lecturer or to be a Spanish tu tutor. That is so not true. Mostly for entry level jobs and for almost any other job, you go and learn on the job. So tell yourself and tell your employer that I am ready to learn. With what I studied in university, I am working in the legal department in my institution. I went there and I learned almost everything on the job. There is hardly anything that I learned in the university that I am doing right now. And I actually do like what I'm doing. Wherever you find yourself after national service or even doing your national service, try your best to learn whatever you are doing. Just learn on the job, whatever they teach you, learn. From there, then you can build and say, okay, this is the career path I want to take. And then you work towards that career path. Do not make your head so hard and say, this is what I want. I know, uh, and I also know a guy who studied political science and French who is working in the finance department in his institution and he's doing quite well. So it's not always about the course you studied, even though that can also help. I mean, if you studied law in the university and you want to be a lawyer, then you should go through that path and there is nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying you shouldn't have dreams and work towards it. Please have your dreams and work towards it. But if you find yourself in a place where it's quite different from what you learned in university or you are not so sure about what to do outside university wherever you find yourself during national service or after national service just learn on the job in kakran kakra and you will build in kakran kakra you will build if you are religious too i would advise you to pray pray and focus on being your best self wherever you find yourself to end this video as a secondary school student going to the university please read explore options explore other universities go into other universities to see what they also do you will find out that there's actually a course that you know that okay this is the course for me do not say i want to the university of ghana just relax you cross the bridge when you get there do not worry too much if you have any further questions to ask me you can ask me you can dm me on instagram and i will respond to you so i'll see you guys in another video bye